Hello, in this feature video, we are going to show you a new feature called Log View in version 4.1. So let's get into a system here, and you'll see I am logging for a particular source. So I've done a search for Greylog2, and I'm looking at all the syslog messages coming. So to add Log View, you click here under the widget area, click and add Log View. You'll see this new window populate, and the default fields are timestamp, source, and message. And in the message, it pushes the raw message into this line, and it allows you to actually go in each field and select what fields you might want to see in log view. So as an example, I want to add the application names that are coming up in the logs, and I'll save that. You'll see it add it to the list at the end. If you want to reorder these, it's very simple. You just go in and edit and I want to move the application name just after source so I'm going to reorder them and apply the changes. Now that the changes are reapplied you'll see this now populated in the log view. The other thing you can do in log view is on the top right hand corner there's a feature here called focus this widget. If you wanted to expand very quickly and look at more logs that have been streaming along this line click this feature and it will expand the logs and you can scroll back or forward depending on what logs are in there. You can close it. The nice feature uh, with this is you can save this in your save searches or in your dashboards and expanding this does not affect making changes to your dashboard or your search. So it's a feature embedded within the window itself and you can look at the expanded view and shrink the view very quickly. This is a very handy feature for a lot of environments in DevOps and other security teams where you're watching very specific logs and you can tailor this log so you can look at very specific things. You might be very knowledge in a given area and you'll want to watch these logs and you know what you're looking for and it's really handy to have this on the screen populating in real time. As you'll see the newest message is at the bottom of the, sc of the scroll window and it will continually scroll as the messages are coming into Greylog. Hopefully that's a great feature you can start using in Greylog 4.1. Thank you for joining us and happy logging with Greylog. And P.S. Greylog offers a 30-day trial of Enterprise if you want to check out our log view or any other features that are in Greylog that will help you accelerate your log management activities.